Hello, this is Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO, and today we're going to be talking about free, non-disruptive penetration testing and perimeter checks. Now you're probably thinking, no way, you can't do this. You can't go pen test some company without special permissions and all of this. Well, we're going to be talking about free resources that either aren't disruptive or where we're just searching a database and we're getting the data. And so keep watching. Now, I love census.io. It started out as a research project at the University of Michigan. It's always been free for researchers and you can still go on there today and do free searches. It scans the internet 24 by 7 and compiles the data into a database. So when you go out and search for a company, what you're doing is you're querying this database. You're not actually pen testing. So it's really a great free resource. And of course, now they actually have a product too. So what you can do is you can put in, for example, IBM.com, and then it's going to show you all the hosts, all of the ports that are open to the internet, the protocols that are in use. So it's really a great tool. And one of the big things you want to look for is make sure you do not have RDP open to the internet that's not, that hasn't been secured. Now, there also is the Qualys Community Edition. It does non-disruptive scans on your perimeter. So if you just want to check out some of the same information, get actionable data, you know, open ports, things like that. And there's also a great free tool that you can run on your web servers to make sure that you have TLS properly configured. Remember, you should be using TLS 1.2 or above. Do not use CVC mode and ensure that TLS 1.1, 1.0 or below are disabled. And finally, their security scorecard. You can set up you can create a free account. It's similar to Census.io in that it's already doing this pen testing, this non-disruptive pen testing all the time, 24 by 7. So when you log in and you create an account and you get the information about your company, all you are doing is querying their database and their information that they already have that's already, you know, out there. You can also use this for your third party vendor risk assessment. So you can check on those vendors and see what are they? Are they a B, a C, a D? And, you know, send them. If you find C, I mean, they'll actually give you actionable data. What needs to be fixed first? And so you can send that and say, hey, I saw this. This, you know, why don't you log on and get this information? You also, it's really great to track with the information it gives you and you can brief up to your executive team and let them know because you can actually see, you know, let's say you're at a B or a C and you take it up to an A by following, you know, the actionable information and closing those ports and making those changes. And so it's really, this is a great resource. Of course, they have a paid premium version, and but it's free also. So definitely recommend Security Scorecard. So thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe for more cybersecurity vids.